Welcome back to the channel. So today I am filming a video. Didn't really know what to title it to be honest. Um, but basically I'm going to give the lorry a complete clean, get it ready for eventing. Because obviously we took the trailer last week. Um, give that a complete clean inside and out. Like make it a lot better storage wise. Um, we've got loads of storage boxes and just ways... I'm going to organise it so that's the automatic lights going off. Dog. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. But first, I've just had a package come with some bits and bobs for Eventing Phoenix this weekend. Sorry if you can hear anyone shouting. My brother is on his gaming. Um, he's always shouting. So I thought I would quickly unpackage this box. It's not a box, it's a package. I thought I'd quickly unpackage it for you um, and include this in the video. I've also got some more packages coming later. Also like for the lorry. This isn't really for the lorry. Well, it's all to go in the lorry, but it's more stuff for the horses. Um, so this is more for horses and then later i will probably include it in the video as well um i've got some packages coming to help organize the lorry um so this order is from nailers i've probably told you i have ordered from them quite a few times before um i paid for not express delivery but priority delivery and it actually came next day, which was really good um, because Express was like £9 and then the priority was like £5. So I didn't want to pay £9 to make sure it came next day, but it came next day anyway, which was very helpful. Um, so anyway, quite a lot of this is in bubble wrap, which is annoying. Um, right. So first of all, just some little bits, uh, pattern bands. Uh, these are to keep on the lorry um, because always need plating bands and we've got a couple of packets at home but I thought I'd get some just to be solely kept on the lorry so I don't have to keep swapping it about. I want the lorry to be more like kitted out so I'm not swapping back and forth all the time. And then I got a hoof oil brush, um, just something really cheap that will be handy because I have got lots of pots of hoof oil that need a separate brush and I seem to have lost all of mine. So I just bought a plain back hoof oil brush, which was 135 and the plating bands were 150, I believe. Yeah, and they're black as well. Um, and then, let's try and open this little package. I don't know why these are bubble wrapped, to be honest. Oh, I do actually. So these are, if I can get to them, they are tiny. So I just got two of the little Lumia clothes shaves. They are literally two pounds each. And I thought they will be also really handy just to keep on the lorry. Um, they're really like, they're not sharp, but when you use them on the horse, like it does the job um so yeah they're really good they're tiny so i don't want you to lose them they are tiny little burgundy things and yeah they were two pound each so four pounds all together and then i got this supreme products quarter marking set um i quite like doing their quarter marks i think it makes quite like a difference to their turnout so i got this little um quarter mark set which has different like handles to put on it yep, my mum just rang so perfect timing mother um so yeah i can't remember what i'm saying about this but yeah it's for quarter marks it comes with like the interchangeable heads to be honest i don't really think i'll use these they're tiny unless i start doing some funkier designs but who knows um and that is also just to be kept on the lorry um to be used because i do do quarter marks pretty much every time that's that and then last of all i think quite a boring little haul um 
is, sorry about the skeleton noises, I don't mean to be so loud. Um, this is also to be kept on the lorry, what a surprise. It is this, oh, more bubble wrap, um, but you can see what it is anyway. It's the Car Day and Martin dream coat, which I do use quite a lot. Um, and basically I just use it as a coat shine, I'm going to take that off afterwards, a coat shine and a mane and tail detangler and it also smells really nice um, and just gives them like a bit of a shine and it's also non-slip. I remember when I was a lot younger, I once went to a show, put loads of, well I don't know if it was loads, but put show shine on them on a horse and my saddle just completely slipped around um and i fell off so yeah good it's done slip <laughs> um and that pretty much brings me to the end of this little section of the video um sorry <laughs> and yeah so that's that this was 11.70 i don't know i think i don't think i said the prices for that that was 12.99 um i used nail as a question which i think i've already said but because I'm a, I have like some sort of member thing, I got a £20 voucher for having like a certain amount of points. So that was really good. So this actually only cost me about 15 quid or something. I can't remember. Um, so get yourself on nailers because you get vouchers. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this part of the video here and I will see you when I go out and do the lorry. So I've just come out to the lorry. Um, start doing it and it is in quite a bit of a mess um there's some manky stuff on the floor i don't know what that is um i think i can't remember which it is this one we've lost the storage area um so oh there's so much rubbish in here so i need to go through this all and clean it um move a lot of this stuff around half of these aren't working i don't know why um so i'll give you a quick show of what it's like at the moment and then get cracking with cleaning it when you walk in this is the current state um them coats aren't moving because they are so bloody loud <laughs> um every time we move in the lorry they swing about so i'm going to put them probably on the other side in the toilet then we've got this manky rug which I want to get rid of because everything just sticks to it and yeah it just makes it worse. There's all this on the floor which was in here but if I show you the locker now takes up that so they probably need getting rid of them doors. In here a mess, what a surprise and up here also a big mess um, and then these won't even open at the moment so i'm gonna have to find a way to open these up because i don't know what's wrong with them this full of rubbish um i need to go through that uh just bits and bobs on here that i could probably do with sorting uh, i will sort that out as well that's disgusting um and then yeah there's all that that area is all right um in the horse area i'm literally just going to take everything out there's a hay net ready done there which is nice um yeah so i'm just gonna take everything out and just reorganize everything and yeah do that so the first thing i'm going to do is reorganize this little cupboard <laughs> um it's basically all like the pots pans and mugs um which we use and they stay in the lorry so it's at the moment it's all just kind of chucked everywhere so i'm gonna reorganize this area um and yeah just get rid of some stuff and make everything look a lot more organized so i'm just looking in these top ones and i just remember we had like a leak up in this top one um a while ago and as you can see in there it is really like moldy and damp and horrible so i'm gonna clean all that out 
it's not really nice to breathe in actually i can like taste it um i'll probably put some sort of cloth down there and just not use that one um so yeah i'll sort that out now so i've just looked inside and grabbed a couple more toilet rolls um and we filled like the snack box i obviously look through the lorry i've realized i need to buy some more like fizzy drinks and cans to go in the food compartment um so i'll get on ordering that so now i'm going to start this compartment it is a complete mess i don't even know what these are oh i do actually they're two them poles there they do something to do with it but i'm not too sure so i'm gonna put them somewhere else and just completely clean out this area about to make a start on this area i think that's a coat up there so i think i'm going to move them coats quickly first and then sort out all of these and that one down there as well So I'm now going to quickly sort out this door to pin bag, which is quite annoying. The toilet room because it's okay but it stinks in here. Um just of like mould. Don't know why. Um and there's just lots of rubbish about. So I'm gonna quickly do out this little area. Um probably won't film it because it's not really any way to get an angle in here and it's the toilet. Um so I'm going to do that quickly. So I just nipped up to the house and all the parcels have arrived. So I'm going to nip back up to the house now and unbox them with you and then we can carry on with the lorry. So I've just come in to unbox these parcels quickly. Not actually sure that they are all to do with horses. Um, oh yeah, so here we have these sponges. Um, you always need sponges when doing the horses. So there's nine there um some of some are actually for washing our cars but that's them some sponges to be kept in the lorry and at home and we just always need sponges then this parcel i know what this is um literally if i can open it it's just a little pair of scissors because i can never find any um and scissors are also always useful. So I will pack these in the lorry and these can be kept in the lorry because you always need scissors. Um, so that's them. And then I've got this parcel. From what I can tell, this is my exciting one. This is, I'm not gonna lie, I've completely copied this idea. Or, um, let me just check this. What I'm gonna say it is first, it is <laughs> you can see me. Yeah, it is a whiteboard. Um this is completely copied off the flow part or anything. Uh, I see in her lorry that she has one. Um so I really like the idea of it. I think it will help massively with organising. So I bought a whiteboard and it's also obviously got some pens and rubber, some little magnet things. Um, so we will set that up in a bit. And then last parcel, biggest one, all from Amazon, but they've all come in different parcels. I don't really know how Amazon works, to be honest though. So in here, in here um so in here my mum has bought a first aid kit um this can be used for horses and humans um 
and we've never had one in the lorry and it's just something that you need so we have got one of them um to just be kept in the lorry and then she also brought me a load of storage boxes to put in the lorry um always need extra storage so these will be really useful especially for today um while i'm sorting it all out so there's just four of these gray storage boxes um and that is pretty much everything in this haul in yeah in all, these are all the packages now arrived so i'm gonna quickly tidy all this mess up and then get back out to lorry and take everything so out the first thing i'm gonna put up is the whiteboard i'm thinking there um it's obviously not gonna stick to that kind of wall and the only other place is really are these doors but no I th i'm thinking here so it's like kind of out the way but still easy to get to so i'm gonna put it all there i think i'm gonna use velcro but i'll see what fastenings it comes with if it does um so yeah i'm just gonna unwrap it and then see so i've now done the living that's a quick scoot um i'm not gonna sweep the floor out yet because i'm still gonna be coming like in and out quite a lot so i'm now gonna move on to like the horse area and the lockers I've got a little Smarties tube that's rolling around the floor, making that noise. Um, so I'm going to sort out the horse area now, um, put some stuff into the lockers and just tidy it up a bit. It's a bit of a mess. Get all the hay nets ready, refill all the water and yeah, just sort it out. I've just gathered up a load of stuff to go in the locker. Um, that's more stuff that needs to go in the lorry. And I'm now going to put it all into these containers and put it in the lorry in various places i will show you afterwards so i've now just got the water bars out and feet filled it up and put it back in that locker i didn't realize how much the water container took up i actually can't think fit anything else in that locker now it well um it's out of the way so that's that i'm just nipping in to grab some more stuff to put in the lorry and then we are about nearly there so i have now pretty much finished the lorry as far as I can go I was going to jet wash the outside as well but I don't really have time um it's took me a lot longer than I thought to not make a massive difference um so anyway I'm going to quickly tour you around the inside the lockers and the horse area and yeah I'll show you the changes that have been made to it and um show you what I've done <laughs> So, as you come into the living, it is visibly a lot cleaner, I can't deny that. I've wiped down all the sides, swept out all the floor, took that horrible monkey rug out, and yeah, it looks ten times better. So, I'm going to start off with this drawer over here. So, in here, I've added a little cutlery thing. That is all like the paperwork that came with the lorry, which I don't know what to do with, so I'm not going to mess about with notebook tv remote some lickets some paracetamol a pen and a screwdriver basically little handy bits in there and stuff i don't know whether i'm allowed to get rid of or not these are playing up a bit i'm not too sure why um so in here at the bottom is all the parts so we have some plates and bowls at the back i don't know what that's called a wok <laughs> i'm gonna go with that and a saucepan also at the back the kettle at the front and then lots of cups and mugs also at the front um, for if we make drinks or anything. And then up here, I need to buy some drinks, like pop and stuff, because it's looking a bit bare. Um, but we basically have all the sugar, tea, coffee, and the smokers there at the back. Um, and then here's like the snack thing. So that's that. I have kind of just left them top three. I showed you two of them, they were manky, so I've just left them. Here is them two things, which I didn't know what to do with. That's the TV stand, don't really think I need that to be honest. And there's more paperwork and stuff down there. And then there is my lovely whiteboard. Um, I think it looks really good. It is slightly on the wonk, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, it's really, it's actually really good quality. It's really nice. That's magnetic and yeah, it's really good. Um, thanks Flo Carter for the inspiration <laughs> um, so then in here up top again nothing I'm sure I will find some stuff to fill these spaces but for now there's nothing in them on this shelf I've just got that first aid kit and 
this is basically like my numbers and Phoenix's passport ready for the weekend, ready to go. Um, then in this box, this is kind of like my, my bits and bobs. So there is gloves, hairnet, cross country stopwatch, my other hat silk, a cap, a bobble hat, and yeah, just bits and bobs basically in there. And then in the bottom one, there is basically all like the cleaning products. That's a dog bowl if we take the dog with us. Bin liners. Yeah, all that fun stuff, which usually my mum looks. But looking at the state of this lorry, I think she doesn't anymore. So in there is, that is just like a spare pair of joppers because you never know when you're going to need them. Um, and that is all these leads and stuff, which I don't have a clue what they do, what they are. So I'm not going to mess about with them. And then in here is the toilet. I've literally only changed this by moving the coat rack and making it smell 10 times better and just giving it a bit of a general clean. So yeah, it was a lot better in there. Then the horse area, I will show you what's changed. Basically we've added this like rack um, above the third partition. We can still travel on here. Like there's plenty of room. Um, probably not here because she's not very sensible, but the other sensible ones would be absolutely fine. So there I've just hung our cross country hats because we literally don't use them any of the time, but when we're eventing, so they may as well stay in here. There's a lunge line because we always need a lunge light and side reins, which we always lunge carry in side side reins when we first get to a competition. There are a couple of whips. Um, I don't really know what that bottom one's for, but that's my cross country whip. And then down here we have a hay bag, which is made ready for the weekend, a saddle rack, which we always keep in here, poop scooper and brush and two buckets there. Um, which we always take. And then up top here, I've just put both our back protectors, me and my mums, and there's a couple of, um, what are they called? Number bibs, there they are. Um, and then we've also just put these in. Um, they're them like quick release things that you tie them on. So there's a couple of them along there for when we tie them up now there. outside at the locker. And this is what it looks like. It does need painting. It, we're, it's going back to have a bit more work done, but nothing significant so far. I may as well show it you now. So in here, we've got the two lovely boxes. Um, there's some sponges, uh, mane and tail brush, brushes, sweat scraper, plating bands. I found some brown ones as well, so they can go in there. Hoof pick, scissors, that quarter marking set then close shave things basically yeah all grooming stuff in that one and then in this one there is the dream coat which i just bought the fl some fly spray a hoof oil brush for that hoof oil baby oil which my little baby brother sprayed purple spray all over so that's why it looks like that but i use baby oil just around their faces um just makes them look a lot better a call it paste which we sometimes use on duncan electrolyte paste just if it's a really hard event, we might give them one of these afterwards and a couple of boot tapes. And then over here, this is packed for the weekend because these are Phoenixes. Um, some bandage pads and bandages for when I clay their legs. Um, so that's the clay and obviously I put all that on afterwards to travel home. There's a box of treats. I've had this box of treats for years, but yeah. And then is. I'm not going to bother showing you, but in the other locker it's literally just the water container. So. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't really need to show you that, but I am pretty much going to leave this video here. I don't have anything else to show you. Um, and I am actually going to try and get this up on the day I'm filming this, which is the Thursday. Um, and I'm going eventing on the Saturday, so I'll also be vlogging that. That will be coming out probably on the Sunday, but who knows, depends how quick my editing is. I think generally I'm quite good at getting videos edited and uploaded. But that is mainly because I don't have much storage on my phone. So for me to film another video, I have to get an old one off. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's that. So I'm going to leave this video here. If you have any video suggestions, please do let me know in the comments um, because it is very useful. Please like and subscribe and yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.